Hello, this is TD Online Sensor Configuration Menu. First of all, run the configurator. Connect the adapter to your PC via USB. Connect the sensor to the adapter. Open the registered COM port. Sensor is initialized. Go to another tab to get the serial number and firmware version displayed from the left. Firstly, the tracker settings are to be done. Go to Server tab. Enter server address and server port. In order to connect to violent server, for example, there should be entered the following address. 193.193.165.165 and the following port. 21035. Press Save Settings afterwards. Sensor setting up in violent system will require its IMA number and password. In order to get the IMA display, press Get UID IMA. These parameters are to be added to the corresponding violent object properties. The IMA goes as unique ID and the password goes as device access password. Press OK to save the changes. In the configurator, don't forget to save the changes too. That's it, as for tracker setting up. Moving on the probe setting up. Go to Fuel tab. Start with the probe calibration, that is full and empty tank values setting up. As it is done for our ordinary fuel level sensors, Turn over the probe and fill the tube with the fuel. Once the level displayed gets stabilized, press Set Full Tank. It is important to save stabilized values. So give it some time after adding fuel, let the sensor update a few times the sensor and level values displayed. Then press the setting button. Afterwards set the empty tank value. To do it, pour fuel from the prop tube, let it drain entirely. Give it one minute to let the level displayed get stabilized and press set empty tank. Please note, averaging should be disabled during the calibration. Next, in case of necessity of engine state monitoring, perform engine state calibration. To do it, Connect the sensor to the automobile accumulator. Then start the engine, wait for about 3 minutes and press the button set engine on. Turn the engine off. Then after saying 3 minutes, press set engine off. In case of necessity to consider the vehicle tilting, set horizontal. In case of necessity to consider the vehicle tilting, Set horizontal position of the sensor. Use horizon button for that. In server tab there is an option to set messages sending period, as well as to enable inquiry to additional sensors if there are any. In order to change the period, enter the value and press save settings. In order to enable inquiry to a certain sensors, Tick the corresponding number of channels and specify what network address goes to what channel. Note the first channel is only served for TD Online Sensor itself. Save settings. All settings are done. Let's take a look at the status field. In case of stable GSM connection to the server, GSM status must be 17. Traffic must increase since traffic is a number of successfully delivered messages. That's actually it. TD Online is now all set up and ready for work.